And I mean to tell you, that offensive line was sent backwards. Well, you can't question Paul Hickman's judgment on that play. No. They hold. I believe I might have went with John safely, though, or Blake Cutting instead of a quarterback sneak, but it's uh, second guessing right now, Troy. I tell you what, the Bombers were so quick off the ball as if they knew the snap count and California didn't. Maybe California should have went for a long snap count. Tried to draw them off sides, but anyway, the Burroughs with a football. California have to play some more good defense, turn around and play the kind of defense they've been playing all night. Well, it's been a slugfest. California's defense has risen to the occasion with their backs against their own goalpost. Now the Bombers have done that. They hold the Pinos inside their own 30-yard line. On the change of possession, Edwards on first down, hands off, far side. I believe that's Cranston, the fullback. Ball carrier gets it out to the 35-yard line. Blake Cutting made the tackle, and it was Bob Cranston carrying the football for the Bombers. Of course, the Bombers are a member of the ABC League, and that's always tough. They're always going to have a couple of losses in that conference with Country Day and Lutheran North and Principia. As a matter of fact, they only beat Principia by two points, 9-7. to seven. I think Schinnaker won that game with a field goal. They were that close from perhaps not winning their district. Second down and four from the 35. Handoff. Cranston again. He's got a first down. He's out to the California. Well, uh, actually his own 40. But he's moving that California defense backward and moved the chains. The Bombers from our right to our left have a first down. Blake Cutting made the tackle again. Also looks like uh, John Less, defensive tackle, was in on it. Well, right now the Pinot defense may be a little frustrated, especially considering the fact they have a lot of kids that play on offense playing on defense, but they've got to suck it up right here. They played good football here so far. First and 10 from the 41. Edwards handoff, Lot Miller to the 45. I haven't seen a lot of the Bombers, but every time I have, this is vintage John Burroughs offense. They're just picking up three, four yards at a time. It's second down, about six. Mark it at the Bomber 45. Straight dives and off tackle. That's what they like to do, Troy, and they'll surprise you with a pass here and there, but uh, it's mainly straight ahead football, and they get down and get in the pits and really play hard with you. Second down and six. Bombers break the huddle. Right now, California. Looking like they're going with just one linebacker safely. Here's a handoff. Lock Miller is across midfield and close to another first down. He goes into California territory. Was that Cranston on the carry? Might have been Cranston. John Les made the tackle. They alternate Cranston and Lock Miller. Lock Miller was the guy we'd heard a lot about, but this Cranston looks to be a pretty versatile back himself. Third down and one from the California 49. Bombers break the huddle. Three men in the backfield. Short yardage situation for a first. Edwards behind center, gets the snap. Hands off, Cranston got a first 45. And down to about the 43, move the change. The Bombers have another first. And on the tackle is John Safely, the linebacker. Safely missed three games but he still was first team all Tri-County Conference at linebacker. That tells you what these Tri-County coaches think of John Safely, the 6'3", 225-pound junior. He's been a starter since his freshman year. First and 10, Bombers knocking on the door here. They're moving the chains. A couple of first downs here on this drive. 4-12 left to go in the first half. Here's Edwards from the 43. Hand off Cranston. He's to the 40, the 35. He's to the 20. He's to the 10. He may go all the way. Touchdown, John Burroughs. With 4.02 left to go in the first quarter, the Bombers have scored. From 43 yards out, John Burroughs gets the first touch of the ball game. And Schenneker will come on and attempt the extra point. Well, Jeff, on this particular series, the Pinot defense just didn't have that fire. Yeah, it uh, looked like they were kind of playing on their heels, and you just, from, uh, well, once they, John Burroughs got the football, you might have thought it was a matter of time before they broke one just like that. Schenneker will attempt the extra point. Donnie Holtz, here's the kick, and it is good. We'll take a 30-second timeout. 4.02 left to go in the first half from Moss Field, Webster Groves, Missouri. Your score, John Burrow 7, California nothing. You're listening to KZMO Radio Sports. Just, and now on the ensuing offensive series for the Bombers, they've scored. 43-yard run by Cranston. Extra point was good, and it's 7 to nothing, John Burrows. 
Here's the ensuing kickoff, and Schinnaker hits a line drive, safely picks it up on a good bounce. He's to midfield almost, and he is at midfield. Mercy, what a play. He looked like George Brett scooping that football up. He's brought down by Brian Schnook. I don't know if that was an intentional onside kick. I think he just hit it on the top of the football. I think it was going about 60 miles an hour. That's a line drive. Safely picked it up at about his own 35 on a nice hop. Took it on the one hop and just chugged right on out to midfield. He's in the bomber territory at the John Burroughs 49. Pintos need to come back and score real quick, Troy. Well, the poor kickoff and a decent return have given him good field position. Wing right formation, Dunaway. Cushion the tight end to the near side. Now Dunaway in motion, far side. Joe far side, the tight end. Here's the snap and a pitch goes to Cutting. Cutting's trying to turn the corner, but he's not gonna be able to. He loses a couple of yards. Back to his own 49. Good pursuit and stringing the play out far side. Eddie Williamson was over there. Two or three other bombers. They just strung the play out further and further to the sideline until they got to the ball carrier cutting. The bombers with yellow helmets and a blue stripe, blue jerseys, blue pants, yellow numerals. The Pinos in their road uniforms, the blue helmets, the white jerseys, and the blue pants. Second down and 11 from their own 49. Schloop behind center, wing to the near side, out of the eye. Schloop gets the snap, drops back to pass, short drop back, throwing over the middle and way over the head of his intended receiver, Dunaway. And I tell you what, Tom Donnie, one of the defensive backs, almost could have gotten into position to intercept that. Paul has had problems with the INTs this year. Nine interceptions. John Burroughs was setting back. They had a zone coverage on defensive backfield and really the only person that was... Uh, in a position to catch a pass was Shane Dunaway, and he was surrounded, so I think that uh, Paul just let that one go. Third down and 11 from their own 49-yard line. Double tight end set up. Wing to the near side. Dunaway out of the eye. Safely the fullback. The tailback is cutting. Long snap count. Sloop gets the snap. Fakes to the dive man. Cutting. He throws. Near side. It's up in the air, and it's almost intercepted. Almost intercepted near side by Ahad Sabat. He was the man in the vicinity. Schloop overthrew his intended receiver. Frankly, I don't know who the intended receiver was. Might have been Tim Cushion on the near sideline. But a hot Sabat almost picked it off. Fourth down and 11, and the Pinos will punt it away. 2.50 left to go first half. Stick around at halftime. We'll talk things over with Tom Rackers, the sports editor of the Jefferson City News Tribune, who just blew me a kiss. I love you too, Tom. We're paying him big bucks to be our guest at the half. We'll talk about the new district assignments and the playoffs tonight statewide. Racklet the snapper, the punter Dunaway into the football, flags down, high kick, and it's short. It angles far side. Job almost has it hit him on the top of the head and goes out of bounds inside the 30, but again, we have flags down on the play. If you don't know it, California will be a 3A school in football next year, and you talk about a dynamite rivalry with some schools, Jeff. Yeah, there's going to be some real good football played in that district next year, Elias and Eldon. And, well, I'll tell you, when you get those people together, especially Eldon in California, that's enough there. Elias, uh, California probably hasn't played Elias in a long time. And uh, if they even have in football, I'm, I'm sure they probably have somewhere down the line, but uh, it's going to be good. You can also throw in Phil Vogt's Osage Indians into that district. Man, it's going to be competitive. This penalty was against the Bombers. I didn't see the indication. That'd be a personal foul of some type. There it is. Yeah. It's against the Bombers, and it's a first and 10 for California. Well, here's a break. They need a break. They've been flat the last couple of three minutes. And now they have it in Bomber territory at the Bomber 37. So I guess on the kick, there was a personal foul we didn't see, and the Pintos have it back in good shape. Probably a clip. Wing to the near side, Dunaway. Misdirection play, Dunaway takes it far side. He's got some running room, but then he is thrown down at about the 35 yard line. Blair Oaks did a tremendous job last week of shutting down those misdirections. Jeff Stern made the tackle. You were doing the Tipton ball game last week. We've seen Dunaway out of that wing on misdirection plays pick up a lot of yards. Got to credit Terry Cannon's defense last week for shutting it down. And so far, it's been hard going for Dunaway here tonight, carrying that ball out of the wing. 2.14, clock ticking first half. Dunaway, a wing near side, double tight end set up. Second down and call it about eight from the 35 of the Bombers. Sloop gets the snap, fake to the dive man. Now they give it to Cutting. Cutting's looking for daylight. He cuts, heads for the 30, down at about the 31-yard line, and that'll bring up third down. It was Cole Thompson making the tackle for John Burroughs. 
Burroughs doing a great job. Defensive ends cutting off uh, the favorite place for Blake Cutting to run. He loves to run to the outside, Troy. If he can get outside, get around that defensive end, he can gain some yardage. And right now, Burroughs really playing those defensive ends tight, and they're watching for Blake Cutting to come around. Third down about four from the 30 and a half. Let's call it the 31. Double tight end set up. Wing to the far side. Dunaway out of the eye. Safely's the fullback. The tail is cutting. Schloop behind center. He gets the snap from Blankenship. He rolls far side. He's going to throw. He gets it up in the air, and it's way over the intended receiver's head. Dunaway out of bounds. And Schloop took a hit as he unloaded the football under pressure. It'll be fourth down, and California will go for it. They've already got it at the John Burroughs 31. Now 117 left to go in the first half. Both these teams coming in off, uh, off victories last week. Burroughs beat Cardinal Ritter 